Today you're going to learn how to move Logic samples to another drive. If you have Apple's Logic Pro, you might know that it comes with gigabytes of samples and loops, but it doesn't provide a way to easily move this content elsewhere if you wanted to. It's a good practice to run your apps from your system drive and stream your samples from a separate drive when possible. And in an ideal situation, you should also use a third drive for all of your project data. However, if you have a dedicated system drive, it might only be around 250 gigabytes, so leaving Logic samples on there takes up valuable space that could be used for other applications or maybe even a bootcamp partition. Let's first see how much space these samples are taking up. So these are my user loops, about six gigabytes. They may be more later though, as I add more custom loops to them. So I figure it's a good idea to just bring them over now. Ultrabeat samples, again, not that much, but I like to keep everything in the same place. And right now, if you leave them on the system drive, they are spread out all over the place. So I'm gonna bring these over anyway. 14 gigabytes of sampler files. These are GarageBand instruments. EXS factory samples, 27 gigabytes. The largest one is Apple Loops, 28 gigabytes. And Alchemy samples are 15. This adds up to over 90 gigabytes of logic loops and samples. So to move them to a separate drive, but still trick logic into thinking that they are on the system drive, you need to use symbolic links. I use an app appropriately named Symbolic Linker from Mac Update. You can find the link in the description or just search for Symbolic Linker Mac Update. There's a way to do what this app does using the terminal, but this app is free, easy, and does not take up too much space. So download Symbolic Linker and follow the prompts to install it. I had to place it in the services folder within my system drives library folder, and then start the service from here once just to activate it. This adds an additional item to the bottom of the context click menu, make symbolic link. Now you navigate to each of the folders where Logic keeps its samples and copy those folders into a new folder on your separate drive. Here are where the GarageBand instruments are stored. This sampler folder is in your system drive. Usually it's called Macintosh HD. I've renamed mine. Library, Application Support, GarageBand, Instrument Library, Sampler. And this is the folder that you want to copy, Sampler Files. You can see this by this little arrow icon that I've already done this to save time. This looks like an alias, but it's actually a symbolic link. It's the same icon. So next, you're going to go over to also in Application Support, Logic. You're going to find three folders here that you want to drag over, UltraBeat Samples. EXS factory samples and alchemy samples. So copy those to your separate drive, your external drive, or maybe it's just a separate drive on your desktop that's also internal. So next we have the Apple loops in the audio folder in your systems library folder. Copy this folder over to your separate drive. Your user loops are stored in your user library folder, not your, not your Macintosh HD library folder. So navigate there. I copied this user loops folder because this has the same name as the Apple loops folder and you can't have that. So this is the folder that I copied and this also helps me to distinguish one from the other. Now here is the, my samples drive. This is where I've copied. I made a folder called logic instruments and they're all in here. So once they're in, once they're safely copied, you just make a symbolic link from all of them and bring these symbolic links back into the same folders that they came from and delete the original samples or loops folder that was there. You can safely do this because everything is now copied onto your external drive. So once you've deleted those original loop folders or sample folders, Get rid of this sim link and the space at the end of the folder name, and you should be good to go. The next time you start Logic, as long as this samples drive or whatever you've named it, as long as this drive is connected, as long as it's mounted, 
Logic should not complain about missing content and shouldn't ask you to download anything new again. But not to worry, if you mess up, Logic will ask you to re-download things. Let's say if you accidentally deleted a folder before it was copied correctly and uh, you just have to re-download it and you can start over again. That's not a problem. The only one you have to be careful about if you're doing this is the user loops folder because of course those are your loops, you made them and uh, Logic didn't help you get them from the internet from its resources. So you just need to make sure everything is copied over correctly. If you liked this video, please subscribe. Otherwise, I'm ACAP, stay tuned.